Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm kicking off a full weekend's worth of racing around Road America, not only in the Road to Indy series, but the IndyCar series as well. Today, it's the USF 2000 category, which is the lowest on the Road to Indy ladder and we're going to be doing a six lap race around this iconic American motorsport circuit. Got 19 cars in total, including myself, so 18 AI. Uh, in terms of the settings, I've got it set to 115% difficulty, which is slightly more than usual. I had to turn it up a bit because the AI are a little bit slow around here in this category. 50% AI aggression, 100% damage multiplier. And yeah, without any further ado, we'll jump onto the grid. It is a rolling start, of course, as is basically every sort of series in the United States. So as you can see, I am starting off the pole. Did just do a quick qualifying session, managed to put it on the pole. And uh, yeah, last time out in this car, we actually managed to grab a win around the Indy GP circuit. So I'm gonna try and repeat the same today. Anyway, here we go. USF 2000 around Road America on our Factor 2. Six laps. Nice short one. Throttle is down. Green flag is out. Come across. Block the inside. Now, this track mod is pretty realistic, I must admit. I, I have actually raced it once before in real life. And it's probably anything just as realistic as the iRacing version. It's more up to date than the iRacing version. Oh, use that runoff. There's quite a bit of runoff there but it's not smooth so it makes the car move around a bit. Down the hill into the second corner and then get the throttled down onto this long straight. The cheese straight. Just try and cover off any attack. I've got the sort of Setup set to really low downforce because in these cars you really just on a straight for what feels like forever around here. Oh, break slightly early for the AI behind me. Oh, it's been some sort of wreck. All right, that's good for us. Let's try and get away. Oh, that corner is supposed to be flat out, but I can't do it in this thing. Right now around the Speedville sweeper. Uh, gotta try and keep it on this little piece of pavement. There's a lot of surface changes around here and it makes it quite difficult, especially around the last corner. All right, now up to the kink, one of the scariest corners in all of American motorsport. Oh, no, full fuel, Can't quite get the turning point right. But we've got a lead for now. Head down, focus. Oh, I've overshot there. Yeah, the challenge here is getting the mechanical setup right for the slow corners and the aero right for the fast corners. Uh, dive bomb. A pair of good old Pelfrey power cars up front. That is supposedly what this paint scheme, I think, is meant to be. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have all the real-life paint schemes because drivers come and go from this series like No Tomorrow and going up and down the ladder as well. That would be impossible. Oh, bottoming out. Impossible to keep up with all the skin changes. Right. Well, there was an incident on first lap on the first lap that made the AI all spread out, but a couple have caught back up. See, the draft around here is so big as well. Really got to utilize that. It's hard to pull away. Try to really hug that inside line. Get on the thr throttle as early as you can, but it really does wear out that left front tire, I found. Thankfully, six laps is the distance, so we won't have to worry about it. 
but pulled out a little bit of a gap here. funny you look at that last corner on a map and it doesn't look that difficult but it is so hard I don't know what it is about it it just you feel like the apex is so much earlier than what it is it changes surfaces so all of a sudden have way less grip than what you did going into the corner it's just yeah it's, a, it's probably the toughest final corner of any track in the state especially of all the ones I drove I mean, it's hard to gauge on a sim uh, bottom of the car is gonna be ruined after this one just drops off the edge of that curb there and really does destroy the floor. I must admit, after a full weekend's worth of racing here, the car that I was driving, the sort of springs on the open wheel car that I was driving, the bottom of it had been shaved off a good half inch. It was kind of amazing. It's just me over driving the thing every five seconds as per usual. AI are starting to catch up again. Let's try and hold this lead. We are going to be in the Indy Pro 2000 category, which is the next step up. It's a completely different car. complete Well, not completely different, but handles completely different. So it's going to be a little bit difficult jumping from this to that. But it's good fun. I do love these low-powered open-wheel cars. You can really sort of, well, not throw them around, but you can sort of muscle them a little bit more than, say low-powered touring cars. If you find low-powered touring cars, you have to be super smooth. All about, it's all about momentum. Whereas these, you got so much aero to use, you can really lean on it. Typical open-wheel driver bias, though. Not going to lie. And if you do have R-Factor 2 and want to check out any of the mods I used in these videos over the weekend, or over the next couple days, when I'm not sure whether I'm going to upload this yet, then they are all in the description. I would recommend getting these. They are so much fun. AI is pretty good as well. Thankfully, second and third are fighting behind us, so that's letting us get away now. Gap was yo-yoing there for a second, but just get our head down and not make any mistakes. It's been a pretty good drive so far. Been pretty inconsistent of late, so. Trying to regain some consistency. Oh, nailed that one. The thing is, the red that sweepy, you just got to try and get your throttle, throttle down and see how long you can sort of hold it for. And if you, you know you've got it right because you don't have to sort of take off, or let off again before the exit of the corner. I mean, my, uh, one of my driver coaches growing up, oh, they were pretty pissed at me doing something like that, but they, every now and then they'd come out with some sort of saying, and this one guy named Troy was my driver coach, he said, never ever put the throttle down to the floor unless you know you're not going to have to take it off again, and on road courses in open wheel cars that's definitely the case. Two second lead, two laps to go.
Oh no, no. Jesus. Too much rear brake. Uh, gave up a whole second through turn one there. That's not gone well. Uh, this guy's catching up behind. Nine. Oh, no, 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 no. What the freaking hell? No, <laughs> I've thrown it all away. Come on. Oh, what happened there? I just got too much rear bias. All of a sudden, I'm... Okay. Ah, Joseph. One job. That's right, it's not over yet. I can't believe I just did that. Whoa, hold on to it. Whoa! <laughs> okay, chill. <laughs> ah, what the fuck? Uh, this guy is fast in front of us. Come on. Just need to get in his draft. Uh, why is it when I shift into second, it's just locking the rears up? Alright. I got a little bit of damage, it's alright. Why it's doing that? I mean, I don't, you don't have to blip at these cars. You used to, but not anymore. Ah, uh, no, we're going to lose the leader. I screwed that all up with two laps to go. What an idiot. Yeah, let's just try and hold on to second. Turtle knob. It's going to take some sort of miracle to catch the guy in front. And that left front is struggling. Oh, just a <laughs> rear wing chilling. Oh, lead has been slowed down. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, no, 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 no. Uh, bloody lap car in the way now. Oh, that was our chance. Gifted another chance. Alright, there's no way he'd be just keeping up that pace with no rear wing. Ah, uh, R Factor 2 AI, eh? Oh, not even gonna pit. Anyway, looks like we're gonna have to settle for second, lads. Can't believe I made that mistake before. That was a total stupid dick maneuver, but anyway, good fun nonetheless. Get it out. Alright, that's the end of this video. Stay tuned for Indie Pro 2000 tomorrow, where hopefully I can be more consistent and not throw it all away. Until then, catch you guys later.